Hello, I am Pragya Thakar, Assistant Professor of Science Department at Biani Group of Colleges. I welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPO. Today, I will be delivering my lecture on the topic structure of DNA. DNA deoxyribose nucleic acid is one of the most important of all the macromolecules since it holds the responsibility of transferring the traits from one generation to another generation. DNA was first identified by Frederick Mischer and its structure was proposed and its structure was proposed by Watson and Crick for the physiological form of DNA that is the B type of DNA. As you can see here, there are various components of DNA out of which the major ones are the pantose sugar, phosphoric acid and the bases. Coming on to the first one that is the pantose sugar. In DNA, the pantose sugar is 2 prime deoxyribose. As at the second position of the sugar, the oxygen is absent, so it is called as 2 prime deoxyribose. This sugar has the significance that it forms the backbone of DNA along with the phosphate group. Coming on to the second component that is the phosphoric acid that provides the phosphate group to the DNA and is also responsible for the acidic nature of DNA. The third one and the bases, there are four bases found in DNA that is adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine also designated as A, G, C and T. Now the secondary structure of DNA, the B for the B type of DNA. As you can see here, they are the two helices, the strand first and the strand second. These are interlinked together by the help of hydrogen bonds and then these hydrogen bonds are found between adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Adenine binds with thymine with a double bond while the cytosine and guanine bind with a triple bond providing the stability to the, uh, providing stability to the double helix. There is a backbone of DNA that consists of the sugar and the phosphate linkage forming a phosphodiester linkage and providing stability to the complete structure of DNA. Now, let us see the dimensions of the structure. 20 angstrom, the diameter of the DNA is 20 angstrom, while the length of one complete turn, the length of com one complete turn is 34 angstrom. The rise per helix, the rise per helix is 3.4 angstrom due to the presence of 10 bases per turn. As the DNA interwound, it forms two grooves that is the major groove and the minor groove. The major groove, the, uh, the major groove of the DNA consists of the main edges of the best bases and that is why it is responsible for interaction with the proteins and is responsible for helping into the processes like translation, transcription etc. That is all for the lecture. Thank you, thank you and thank you. For more information, you may visit our website www.gurukpo.com.